Welcome back. You little idiots. <laughs> Not sure where that came from. So some of you have watched my video on the unboxing of the NZXT streaming PC, and listen, I really appreciate the response from it. We've gotten a ton of views. I've never seen anything like that before. Everyone who's watched it and everyone who's commented on that video, oh my gosh, I just... <laughs> it's the dream. <laughs> But some of you had purchased your NZXT streaming PC or also are ordering it soon. And I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, show you a little bit about it with my own. If you watched my putting my studio in the closet video, then you will know that I actually put my studio, the entire thing into this closet. I've got my NZXT streaming PC over here. Don't mind my cord management, it's terrible. Shut up, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And then we've got the monitor set up on the dual monitor stand. We've got my lights over here and everything set up. Gotta have your pistachios. I'm gonna start this bad boy up and show you a few of the basics of what you do when you're first getting started with your streaming PC. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you can learn how you can get 10% off of your streaming PC. Making sure I didn't put the code there for everybody to see. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. We're gonna start this bad boy up. So we'll turn it on and let's set a timer and see how long it's gonna take for this bad boy to start kicking on and uh, getting there at the starting screen. See, I'm gonna get my phone here. We're gonna start timing this thing and... Oh. It's already booted up. I mean, I was gonna time it. Uh, I didn't even get a chance. So what are you saying, Joe? If that's a fast boot up? Yeah, boots up real fast. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you in the computer here a few of the cool things you can do when first getting your PC and uh, how you can kind of customize it a little bit and uh, get it to your liking. So first off, you're gonna wanna go through all the normal stuff you go through with getting a new product, like a phone or a computer is you're gonna, you know, start doing the, I wanna do it in English, and here's the date and time, and blah, 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 blah. Then you're gonna get to the beautiful screen here. Now, I just put on my old uh, Super Nintendo-y background, you know? So this, that's just something of your personal preference, but a lot of you are probably wondering, how do I get my fan to change colors? So the fan came in here starting off with the color red. Some of you might have noticed that from the previous video. <laughs> so I've actually learned how to change the color. It is a beautiful cyan. You can go to the MSI website here. And if you look here, it's msi.com slash motherboard slash support slash B450 slash tomahawk slash Go over here to utility because the fan is considered a utility. And you'll click which operating system you're using, which I would assume is gonna be Windows 10, 64-bit. And you'll scroll down on into here. MSI Dragon Center and download that bad boy. Oops, you can't see it because I'm in the way. So you're gonna click download. Once that thing downloads, bleep, it'll start downloading down here. If you're using Google Chrome, it's gonna be right down here making a download of Chapin, but I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna cancel it because I don't even want it in my town. Once you've downloaded it, just extract the file, which is very easy. Just right click the file, it'll be in your downloads. Extract all to whatever folder you wanna put it in, and then just, you know, double click that bad boy, open it up, get it started. Once you've downloaded it and installed it on your computer, you should be able to go down to your little search bar and just type in Dragon Center. I mean, I just typed in Dra, and then Dragon Center came up. You don't need to log in or register your product or do anything like that. What we're going to do Close out of that bad boy. Go down to Mystic Light, and there it is. These are your color settings, and you can change your colors, and let's watch it in real time on my screen. If you'll see now, I've actually got this little light up here that's kinda, you know, kinda pretty. Kinda got the same color as this light. And I changed this color from red to my little cyan color, which I very, very much like. But I'm gonna change it here on the computer. 
And let's change it to purple. And just hit apply. <laughs> so one of the things I've noticed about it though is sometimes it doesn't like to do anything like yellow, which is a little weird. I may have put that in the video a little bit so you can see some of my troubleshooting, but it can do things like red, purple, blue, pink, you know, cyan, the color that I like. But yellow, for some reason, has some trouble. So also you can choose the style of what it's do doing. You can choose it to be steady like I did. It's just a steady color that stays solid the entire time. Or you can have it breathe. And when your computer starts to breathe, you probably should run because that's a little creepy. And look, more breathing. Your computer can do yoga. Uh, I think that I'm supposed to put my hands in a prayer position. And that's just basically how you change your fan color to have a nice, cool gaming color like everybody likes to have. Now we got a few things I want to show you on the back of the PC, so let's take a look at look. I actually put the back of the PC facing me. I know that the cords get all ugly looking, but I just hate reaching around the back of the computer. So here's the back of the PC. You've got several USB ports to use for all of your USB de devices, kind of like your keyboard, your mouse, all that goodies, your Logitech cam like me. And what, what I, here's one thing I didn't realize is it has an HDMI port, but it also has something called a display port. Now, if you're an old boomer idiot moron, stupid face pants like me, you had no idea what a display port was. Well, guess what? It's for display. Here's the HDMI slot here. And the display ports are here, here, and here. Which is awesome because that means you can have like maybe four monitors going. I've only got two at the moment. I haven't been able to test out four because I don't have four. But that would be pretty cool. Also, this bad boy is VR ready. So if you are owning something like an Oculus or some other VR headset from something, you can plug that bad boy in right there. And don't forget, that's the on off switch because I'm an idiot and couldn't figure out why my computer wouldn't turn off. Well done, me. But once you've got it going, man, this thing is smooth. Now my internet is terrible out here, so you'll have to excuse that. But the games look so good. Playing uh, Apex Legends on this thing is like a dream. Not only is this thing really great for streaming, but it's so good for editing too. I'm actually using 4K footage from a GoPro and it is so smooth trying to edit it. When I was using a laptop before and it was choppy as all get out trying to edit that bad boy. Getting this PC is not only gonna help your gaming and streaming, but it's gonna help with all the other stuff you gotta do to be a YouTuber, making videos and editing the videos. Another bonus feature of this thing is that it actually can pick up Wi-Fi, which is what I kind of have to use because I haven't run a cord from my, you know, modem to in this closet yet, so using Wi-Fi, but I'm telling you the signal strength of this thing picking up Wi-Fi from across the house is extremely good. So I, I haven't had any issues with that. It's just my internet's terrible because I live out in the country. A country bumpkin trying to be a YouTuber. It's a real, real smart business move, isn't it there? <laughs> And those are some basics on how to get started. If you really want and you need more USB ports, just get you one of these bad boys. Just get you another USB adapter with additional ports. You can plug that in and start plugging in other devices and this thing handles it like a dream. I've got two Logitech cameras, USB microphone, my little light on top of the computer. My keyboard, my mouse, my um, everything is just all plugged into this computer and it is doing great. My suggestion would be make sure and download you some goodies like OBS. Well, you know, OBS is for your streaming. GIMP is for your photo editing and uh, thumbnails. And Resolve is for your video editing. All of these are free. So let's talk about this and how you can get it. That's what you're all here for, right? 10% off. Thankfully, I won't be mailing this to you so you don't have to worry about this. But just look forward to my next live stream. I'm going to be giving this bad boy away. I'm going to do a raffle on stream. And at the end of the stream, we'll give away the 10% card to somebody. So, hey, 10%, it isn't much. But it's something. So this is not the most crazy informative video, but I hope it helps for when you get your streaming PC and you can kind of set it up and have a good time. So thanks for watching, you little idiots out there. Gotta work on the niceness.
that comes out of me. And make sure to check out some of my videos making fun of other YouTubers. I'm telling you, you guys are missing out. There's a ton of people watching my video unboxing a streaming PC. Watch me make fun of Ninja and Dr. Disrespect and Tim the Tat Man and all the big dudes. I got some more on the way too. I'm pretty excited about it. And I'll catch you on the flip-flop of the flippity-flops.